Mayhew. I am an environmental scientist. I work for the U.S. Forest Service on the Coronado National Forest. I've worked here for six years. What you see out here is my office. Um, we're in the Sabino Canyon recreation area right now. Um, and this is within the Push Ridge Wilderness, um, which is a pretty special place. Our job as managers is to make sure that these places stick around um, in the face of all kinds of challenges, everything from climate change, invasive species, and increasing uh, use from humans. But of course, our number one priority is to protect this landscape um, and allow for folks to continue to come out here uh, to enjoy this beautiful space. Let's go check out the canyon. <laughs> All right, so what we have here is a very typical example of the vegetation you see in the Sonoran Desert. Um, this is a teddy bear cholla. They also have a mechanism, a defense mechanism, where uh, each segment of the cactus um, can essentially be broken off very easily so that it can carry with you. So it's got a, a funny little nickname as the jumping cactus because if you uh, happen to get one of these spines, you might just end up taking it home with you. So one of the unique things about the Sabino Canyon Recreation Area and this forest that we're in in particular is it's a convergence of quite a few different ecosystems. We have the Sonoran Desert all around us, but we're a part of a larger uh, Madrean Archipelago. It's a conglomeration of many different types of desert ecosystems that extend all the way down into Mexico um, and then up into the Colorado Mountains and the Rockies. So um, in this particular uh, vegetation type, it's a lot more lush than a typical desert might be. We have the very iconic saguaros um, that don't occur anywhere else in the world. And not only is the vegetation here unique, but it's also considered to be a biological hotspot for diversity of those plant species, um, but also our wildlife species. We have um, everything from the smallest uh, endangered Gila chub in tiny ephem ephemeral pools here, um, up to the very iconic megafauna like mountain lions and black bears. So um, all of those different types of wildlife um, and, and every component of that ecosystem come together in this very unique place. It's part of what makes it special. So the top, they look like little pineapples. But it tastes like a Granny Smith apple, like kind of sour a little bit. So we pull this, this is an invasive species, it's called pappas grass. Pappas? Pappas. Pappas? Pappas. 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 Gotcha. Yep. So when I first learned that, I was sad because I was like, oh, so pretty. But most invasives are, you know. So we pull, we'll have like volunteer events where we'll pull. But this is when they, they're in their, this is their seed dispersals, um, when they have the feathers up on the top. <laughs> Thanks for coming on this hike with us through Sabino Canyon. Uh, remember, next time you're in Southeast Arizona, come and check out the Coronado National Forest and see what our kind of desert looks like. Uh -huh.